for sure. So, hi, my name is Sophia Pentila, and I'm a high school student from the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm really into like storytelling and kind of using that as a means of bringing people together, whether it's through speaking or writing. Um, that's something I'm really interested in. I'm also pretty involved in both politics and organizing. I co-founded an organization called Gen Z We're the Future that works to amplify Gen Z voices. And I've been involved in a couple political campaigns and I'm just like really interested in like in amplifying Gen Z voices and like pursuing politics. So that's a little bit about me. That's a great question. I think like young people and especially Gen Zers were a really diverse generation. So I don't think there's a specific role that like all young people play, but I think collectively, like as a generation, our role is kind of like the builders of the future in a sense, because I think like as young people right now, we're seeing that a lot of the big societal change that we're seeing happen is being driven by young people. So I think like not only are we the future of the world, we're also the present and we're building a better future as like a generation and collective young people. I'd say just to go for it, right? Because there can be a lot of like hesitancy about doing something, whether it's like starting an organization or writing a book or really anything you're wanting to do. There's a lot of like little thoughts in your head, but I think um, you'll like almost 100% of the time you'll have more regrets not doing it than you will doing it. So I think really just going for it um, another thing would be to not be afraid to ask for help. I think regardless of what it is you're doing, it can be kind of scary and there might be some questions that arise. So definitely like don't be afraid to ask someone for help and just like reach out to people because like they will be very glad to help you out. And I think that's definitely something I wish I would have done more when I started my organization. So definitely like reach out to others. after you have a big idea you've kind of like done the first step so at least like you have something um i think from there kind of zooming in and really pinpointing exactly what you want to do so try to identify like what your mission is and kind of um you could kind of ask yourself like what do i need to do in order for this project to be successful so like setting a goal such as like donating a thousand dollars or getting like 5,000 views or something like that um, and then kind of working up towards that and then I think after that you could kind of like go through what you need to accomplish that goal so kind of like see what resources you already have and then look like what you might need so like do you need a website do you need an Instagram account do you need funding a team kind of like brainstorm what you need to accomplish that goal and I think that will get you like started pretty well. me personally I really like writing um, especially poetry so I think that's definitely a really nice way for me to wind down I have like a 50 page google doc in my google drive where I just write poems whenever I need to wind down so that's definitely something that helps me personally but I guess on like a less nerdy note um definitely like sleeping I know like everyone can get wrapped up in just being constantly productive, but taking the time to sleep and relax is really important. And like watching a good movie or drinking some like tea or eating chocolate, it's definitely something like, just do something that makes you enjoy life. And I know self-care is something I personally struggled with um, in the past, but I think just like really taking time to prioritize your own well-being and like not getting wrapped up in this like toxic hustle culture and productivity. So definitely like prioritize self-care. This probably isn't my biggest accomplishment, but it's definitely what I'm most proud of. Um, a couple weeks ago, my co-founder and I, we spoke at like a youth empowerment rally expo thing. So that was the first like in-person speaking thing I've done since the pandemic. And I think it was just really cool to get to interact with people face to face and just see how like our work had impacted people personally. And that wasn't really something I had been able to do before. So I think that definitely made me really proud of like the work I'd done so far. 
and just like excited for the future.